Hi guys, thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be making some stuffed habano peppers. I know Cinco de Mayo is coming up soon, so I just wanted to um, share a few recipes over the next few days with you guys. So today we're going to be stuffing these habano peppers with uh, jackfruit and we're going to make a delicious uh, tomato uh, sauce to go over them and uh, some yellow rice and some sweet corn. So first we start clean dry, we rinse and dry our poblano peppers and right on the stove top we're gonna roast them. Just be careful you don't burn yourself. See we just roast those two right there. Okay, it takes a little bit, not too long. A little while, you just wait till the skin is blackened keep churning them, rotating them on on the flame until they get nice and toasty. So it's just a matter of just positioning them certain ways on the stove top. If you have a grill, you could toast them on a grill, that'd be awesome too. Okay. Let's see, we'll just turn it over, this one over. You just keep turning them until um, basically they're roasted all the way around. Now you can smell them toasting. Look at that. Oh yeah. Just try to, that's perfectly fine. If you're gonna get it, if you gotta do that to get it into like that big nook like I just had, <laughs> to get it toasted, you can do that. Just, just you know, be careful with the fluff, the fire. Okay. This one, as you can see, this one, as you can see, is pretty much done. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put them in a plastic, um, storage food storage bag and that's gonna help the skin soften even more it's gonna be easier to remove the skin because it's gonna steam it's gonna steam the rest of the way in the bag and the skin will be easier to come off and it's okay to leave some of that char skin on because actually that's a pretty nice flavor you know when you have a the slightly charred Okay, there it is. Here it is, the house smells like roasted peppers. It smells good. So I'm gonna leave this in this bag for a few. And then I'm just gonna peel off the skin, the charred skin. And then we'll start stuffing them. Okay, so um, my next step, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna strain and uh, rinse the jackfruit. I'm gonna fill it with a little more water. I'm gonna fill up the bowl. So I'm gonna fill the bowl up. Just bring the water up just above the jackfruit. I'm just gonna add about, oh, that was probably a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. And what that's gonna do is any um, flavor any taste that may be in the jackfruit from sitting in the brine, it will eliminate that, that taste. And it will be able to take on more of the flavors and it won't have so much of that canned brine taste. Okay, so I, I let it sit for a few minutes, strain it, and then I'm gonna rinse it so it doesn't leave that vinegary taste to it. I'm 
gonna do is I'm just gonna squeeze out, I'm gonna squeeze out the water. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna um, break up the jackfruit and try to, this, it's hard, the core. It's hard, Some, sometimes it's really hard to break, but it will soften in the pan while you're cooking it and it'll, it'll break down real easily. So you can't break it in your between your, like in your fingers. It'll break down in the pan. And normally I would just throw this in the pan and let it dry out first before actually seasoning it. But I'm gonna season it and just um, let it fry up in the pan. And not even really fry because I'm not even using that much oil. But um. Let it dry up a little in the pan. Okay, so this is basically it. I'm using, leaving like little, you know, shreds, so it looks like pork, jackfruit pork. Um, yeah, so it's it to just break up the jackfruit with your hands, and uh, once it's in the in the frying pan, in the pan. Um, anything that was too hard to break with your hands, it will eventually break down in the frying pan from softening up. Okay, I have carpal tunnel syndrome and ulnar nerve syndrome and arthritis in my fingers. <laughs> so, something that may be too hard for me to break <laughs> may be really easy for you guys to break. So, here it is, okay? And I'm just going to season it up. Okay, so I'm just gonna start by adding a little, a little oregano, because after all, it's one can. So uh, a little oregano, about a teaspoon of oregano. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of garlic. A tablespoon onion powder. I'm going to add about a teaspoon of cumin. I'm going paprika. I guess I'll add like a teaspoon of paprika. And uh, the chili powder, I'm going to add That's about a teaspoon. Okay, I'm gonna add some salt. Just a pinch for now. And I'm gonna add a little pepper. I'm just gonna mix it all up. Oh, and oh, it smells good. Okay. And just the salt alone in here is gonna help pull out that moisture. Okay, so I got the skillet on, and I am just gonna add about a tablespoon of oil. This is olive oil and actually it's mixed with sunflower seed. It, this is a mixture of sunflower oil and extra virgin olive oil. Okay, I'm just gonna coat the frying pan. Now I'm gonna add the jackfruit. have it on medium high okay why um the jackfruit is in the frying pan browning up I'm gonna uh, start uh, peeling off some of the char off the papalano peppers okay, oh my god they smell so good so 
basically you can peel them off with your hands and don't be afraid to leave a little char on because it does leave a nice flavor okay so I'm gonna take this char up you could use a you can use a that uh, paper towel if you like to do this right Here. And then we have the next one. See how easy it all comes off? Okay. Okay. So before I go to the next step, I'm going to rinse my hands off. Okay. So what we're going to do is carefully slice. Don't cut from end to end. Don't cut from end to end. Just leave a border and just slice from that little, the border, gently, carefully, so that way we don't rip the whole pepper. And just gently just open up, it's like a little pocket. There we go. And we got a pocket. And we empty out the seeds. Empty out this this pepper actually doesn't have too many seeds in it, which is pretty cool. Okay, so we empty out the seeds. Okay. Now we'll do another one. The last no, we ain't doing two today. So here we have this this one here. And like I said, make sure you leave a border from here. From one end of the pepper to the next end of the pepper, leave the border. Okay. And then just go in carefully. Just open it up carefully. <laughs> and there you go. And this one too doesn't have too many. So we'll just take out those seeds. There we go. So here we have our Pablano, Pablano peppers. <laughs> we have our Pablano peppers roasted and seeded. Yeah. Now we'll go back over to the stove and see how our jackfruit pork is doing. Okay. Yeah, so that's that's going nicely. Stir it up. Give this one a taste as it fell. That's good. Okay. You see how it's starting to brown up? And just start pushing it down. It'll start breaking apart. See how soft it gets when it quits. When it's cooking, it gets very soft. Makes it easier. Whoops. Uh -huh. That one made me look like a liar. Okay. Um, so, yeah, you break down the seeds in here. You, it's even better if you get a fork. You can do it with a fork. See how pretty it's breaking down, and the flavors are amazing. Just let it cook a little longer for it to soften just a little bit more. Those, you know, the little pieces of core. Doesn't take long at all. Okay. I give it about three more minutes. What I want to do with this now is I just want to let it cool off a little because 
Well, actually, I wanted to cool off because before I put this into the peppers, I want to add cheese into it first. What I'm going to do is now I'm just going to put this into this bowl and then we're going to start on the rice. And you can cover this to, have, to speed up the cooking process to get it softer. You can cover it. Um, but just keep an eye on it. Keep it, you know, on medium low. And um, they should soften up a lot quicker than the way I was doing it. I don't have a lid for, um, for the skillet, so that's why I took it a little longer. Okay. I'm going to add a cup, of a cup of rice, since it's just me. You're going to have more than one person, so I would say two cups of rice. It all depends. Just read the, you know, read the back of the rice, the instructions on the back of the rice. It'll tell you exactly how many cups of rice to use for however many people you're going to be feeding. So I'm using um, Goya, the Goya medium grain rice, and I'm not being sponsored by them, obviously. Um, you could use the long grain. You can even use brown rice, if you like, I would suppose. So that's a cup of rice. Some people don't clean their rice. Me personally, I like to wash and rinse my rice. Oh. I rinse it until the water is clear. See here, I want to show you something. If you can see it, see this? This is like those little pebbles in there. I mean, you don't have to wash it, you can still look through the rice without washing it and pick the pebbles out. But um, I just like to get the starch out of the rice. And I just like to rinse it until it's, it's the water comes out, starts coming out clear. clear and I'm gonna get I'm gonna get the pan started for the rice okay so what I'm gonna start the rice being that I don't have saffron I am just gonna use a little achote oil because this will also give it that um, nice earthy taste and the color that we're looking for if you have saffron you just need, you don't even really need to use, um, you don't need to use a chote oil. You know, you just use a little regular oil for the rice, and then uh, after you add your water, you add your saffron strands. And I am just gonna start adding flavoring to the oil. Okay, that's uh, about a tablespoon of onion powder. Here we got a teaspoon of cumin. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of garlic powder, just a pinch of oregano. Now, being that it's just me, I'm going to use the frozen peppers. But by all means, because normally if I were to make this for a lot of people, I would cut up red peppers, some green peppers, and some onions. Fresh, of course. But being that it's just me, I'm using this. This is, you know, pretty quick and I can use as much or as little as I like. Here I'm going to add about a quarter cup maybe of, of corn, yellow corn, yellow sweet corn. I'm adding fresh cilantro. Give it a nice stir. Now I'm going to add the rice. 
Let's just let the rice toast a little with the seasonings and, and the peppers and the onions. I'm just gonna let that toast before we add any water, just so you know it gets that nice flavor. And as you can see, it's already taken on, you know, that pretty orangey color. And this is just, like I said, this is just a cup of rice in here because it's, you know, small serving. It's just me. And as I said before, you know, you could ch uh, cut up fresh red peppers and green peppers, you know, cut into little, dice them up. Okay, so... I'm just gonna let that toast up a little bit. And I have this here on medium high. And this piece of cilantro stuck to my finger. Okay, so let it toast up some. Making sure that it didn't burn. Um, how beautiful the color of this rice is. Okay, um, I'm gonna add some water. And that needs a little more water. I'm gonna pour the water in just to cover just above the rice, about an inch over the rice. That is so pretty. So I'm gonna add some salt now. You guys, you add salt to taste. Just want to make sure too that there's enough water in here. I'm just going to add a little bit more water. The water should be just above the rice, just like that. Just above the rice. I'm gonna bring that to a boil and then I'm gonna cover it. Okay, so our rice has come to a boil. I'll give it a little stir. I'm give it a cover it. And now we're gonna uh, put put it on low. Okay, the heat, make sure the rice is on low heat. The flame should be that high under the rice and um, that'll cook in like maybe 15 minutes if not sooner because it's only a cup so okay so the jackfruit pork has cooled off and you guys if you uh, get your hands on uh, 365 plant-based material it's from um, Whole Foods the cheese is better than some of the main brand cheeses. It's tried and true, guys. The cheese really is good. Okay. I'm gonna add that in here. I'm gonna give it a quick mix. And what we're gonna do is There we go. Grab some of this and gently, <laughs> gently put it, stuff it inside so we don't rip the whole pepper. We don't want to rip that bottom part of the pepper or rip it all, the whole thing in half. But And yes, don't be afraid to use your hands. As long as your hands are clean, they're the best tools in the kitchen. So that pepper is nicely, nicely stuffed. Put that one there. Let's get the next one. Get that all in there. Okay. Here it is. It 
It's not done yet, guys. Okay, so let's uh, check the rice. Try it. All right. The rice is ba it's done, basically. And the rice is done. Uh, what I want to do is, for five minutes, I'm going to put these peppers right on in there. And I'm going to let them warm through right on top of that rice. And then we're going to make a delicious sauce to go on top. I'll give it five minutes. And we'll be ready to eat. Okay, guys. So what I have here is I have a can of whole tomatoes. You can use fresh tomatoes and just chop those up and you know make your own your own sauce with the fresh tomatoes. Oh, you could use it this way. Like I said, when I cook for other people, not just my other than myself, when I cook for other people, I'll use like the fresh tomatoes and what have you um but since it's just me and it's a small meal i'm gonna use the organic whole tomatoes by 365 which they are not, not sponsoring me so what i did is i took out some of the whole tomatoes and i cut them into little pieces and i added some sauce here the, no the sauce from the can i added that in it is time to turn off the rice as you can see Everything is hot in there. The cheese is melted and we're going to turn this off because I do not want it to burn on the bottom. So I'm going to remove that off of um, the heat. And I'm going to come right back here to the sauce. I'm just going to add a little paprika. And guys, if you have chipotle, you can add chipotle. I'm not a big fan of chipotle. Only certain things, yes, but not a lot. I'm going to add a little ground cumin, like a pinch of ground cumin, a pinch of garlic, a pinch of black pepper, a pinch of oregano, a pinch of onion powder, a pinch of salt, okay. a pinch of chili powder. Give it a little, like a teaspoon of chili powder. Stir it up. This is beautiful. You can already see the color change of it. It's like a deep, beautiful red color. It's so pretty. Okay. Quite honestly, I'm just going to turn that off. Because it's already at a boil. So here it is. It's all plated up. We have a nice little salad. A little bit of avocado. And this sauce is going to top it off. That's the sauce. I got a little vegan queso fresco. I'll leave the link for this at the end of the video Let's add a little bit of uh, cilantro fresh cilantro there it is okay so I forgot to turn my video on again so let's try this let's try this pepper over again You can see how the cheese melted inside. It's really good. And the rice is savory. 
on that sweetness of the corn. And a squeeze of lime over this meal and top it off. Um, this is the short version of it because um, the longer version of it requires turning on the oven, stuffing these, using toothpicks to close it up. But I gave you the shorter one. That way you guys can enjoy your single day mile without having to slave over a hot stove, right? This is fast. It's really good. And I really hope you guys enjoy it. If you like this video, please smash that like button. And guys, please share. Um, trying to make this channel grow. I love what I do. And I love sharing it with you. I love and appreciate you guys who watch my videos and give me them thumbs up. And let's keep this going, guys. Um, also, mm, the queso fresco and everything else that ingredient, all the other ingredients that I added today, I will definitely put it in you know, the link to them in this video. Once again, I love you and I appreciate you guys. Have a great rest of your week.